Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel, the Spiritual Justice Gem Goddess Quita. You can call me Quita, either one would do. I answer to both. Excuse the look. It's one almost one o'clock in the morning. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, what I am picking up on rabbit, toad, uh, turtle, uh, bull, bear is stock market talk. Um, what their end goal is, is cryptocurrencies, ETFs, gold stock markets. They want to go after the gold, basically. Once you get all the gold in reserve, then you, you know, you run, because gold is what back up the paper dollar. And so what they're doing is trying to get up all the gold or whatever. However, I don't know the details of their plan, but the end goal is cryptocurrency. And when you have crypto, you're not going to, um, it's not going to be credit cards. It's going to be the chip that they're talking about, the mark of the beast. And the mark of the beast, you guys, let's just be honest. Is is like a credit card, but it's gonna be in your skin, which I don't totally agree with. I don't want nothing in my skin and my body, but that's the mark of the beast. They're trying to put these little chips in your head and in your hand and stuff. So um, when you work, it'll be in your um, wrist or palm. What is that? The mark, you you guys know that scripture when about talk about the mark of the beast uh, six six six. Um, but this is what they're talking about. This is the the age that we're in. The internet is the big the mark of the beast basically is many different um mark of the beast says me some, something with great power it don't give me good or bad um but something of great power so when you have great power which is the internet because we all utilize it it's, it, it, it it runs the world right now um apps and digital stuff like that so what they're trying to do is put a chip in our head and our hand you get what i'm saying um the mark of the beast is not a bad thing or a good thing but it's who controls these marks you get what I'm saying? Who controls these devices? This is why it's not good to take the mark of the beast. Because once you put the chip in here and here and here, they can send anything, any kind of signal to your body, basically. So, um, they're trying to control us in another way. They're trying because they know that their economy system is going to crash. They just don't know when. And they're trying to catch it by, um, by, uh, cryptocurrency cryptocurrency is what's going to lead to the mark of the beast uh the crypto in the uh the, what's they call it the rdif chips or whatever i could be saying it wrong because i don't know too much about this stuff i know what spirit is saying to me and telling me i keep getting rabbit turtle uh bear and i looked it up um i got 2003 and 2003 was a bear market was a bear stock market and it's a lot of, it's, um, New York took a big hit in 2003. That's what I read. And so this is stock market talk. And this is what they're going after. This is what the Pazuzu family, the elites, this is what they're doing right now, you guys. And so we have to kind of, if we don't want the mark of the beast to come in right now, we're going to have to like step our game up <laughs> spiritually, physically, right? Voting all up. And the next coming years, we're going to have to do what we need to do to 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 um secure if somebody does whoever does take over the cryptocurrency uh whatever groups uh corporations and stuff like that does take over they're going to have to um make sure that they have the well-being of the people um their intentions have to be just for you get what I'm saying to buy or to sell I really don't want that to come in, but times are changing. It's forever changing. People are forever getting new ideals and all of that. So we have to keep up. So that being said, this is what this is what's coming in within the next 10 years. The mark of the beast, 666. It's cryptocurrency, the RF, RDIF chips. I think that's what they call it. Don't call me that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, them little chips. The little devices that they, they said they can inject into you with a needle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but this is what is going on. This is what they're planning. This is why I'm so attacked because they know I can tap in and get this information. I am not of the devil. If I was of the devil, why would I tell you this? Why would I tell you this? I am revamping my channel. I am reinventing myself, so to speak. Not me personally, but my channel. And Spirit is giving me different stuff because we all know Stephanie P. Stephen, Steve Noble, and a couple other people are stealing. So uh, God told me to put that on hold. And when I put that on hold, I was able to see what they really got going on because I'm not focused on putting out that information, which um, a lot of other reader, readers are doing. So Spirit told me to take a break and pause everything so Stephanie and all of them can't keep, continue to steal and just pump that and just 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 live a little bit. And so I've been living a little bit and researching a little bit because when I, I, I love information. So I like to stay tapped in because 
I, I, I'm not a know-it-all, but I'm not, I don't like to be ignorant either. So, <laughs> um, this is what Spirit is telling me, that they're trying to bring the mark of the beast up from being just the internet to cryptocurrency. That's what the, that's that's another mark of the beast that they're trying to bring in is cryptocurrency, which will inherently bring in the uh what they say, how they put it, uh the scan or the barcode on your head, but it's gonna be a RFD chip that they put in you or in your arm. So you unlock your cars, your doors, your houses with the with the chip. Yes. So guys, that's what it is. This is why I get so attacked because they know I'm really about that life. I really live what I live. I'm really tapped into the most high God. I'm really tapped all the way in. You can call me evil. You can call me whatever you want me. But what you will not say is I'm not a child of the most high God because I am. You can call me what you want to, but I don't answer about none of that BS. Um, <laughs> another thing, um, uh, all this bioengineered food. This is another thing that is, um, they're trying to get the, to be a thing. For us, it's like us being accepting of that because of population control. So many people in the world or whatever. Um, but that being said, um, I think it's another... Uh, it's somebody else that's saying um, Barack have like gallows or whatever, whatever. But they have to take out a lot of people in order to bring cryptocurrency in. So you want to see a lot of people dying. And people think, because I have the gift to send people over to the other world that I be doing this and I don't. It it be these other people that's doing this. These are the people that's really doing. It. They use me as the bad guy, the scapegoat, which I don't really be focused on. It. I just know I have that gift, but I have kids. I be focused on life. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And when I'm not focused on life, God is letting me know what they are doing. And I I relay the message to to the to the people that need to know. So call me bad, good, evil. I just answer to the, I'm the most highest child. That's what I am. Anyways, um, but the bioengineered food is, is a um a way to usher in the mark of the beast too. Um, because it what it does is make you sluggish and make you slow. It depends on what you're eating it in. Not all things make you sluggish or slow, or it's not all bad for you. Just you just gotta watch what you eat. Like if it's in sugar items, you don't want to eat bio I don't want to eat it. Anyways, but you know, like if it's in seasons and stuff, it's, I won't say it's safe because I don't know that for sure, but it's not, I can see that I don't have more side effects, um, no side effects from that. I don't know long term what it is because I'm not a scientist. I'm not, you know, researching this. I can only tell you when you eat it, when you eat bioengineered, like, um, ice cream and thus and things like that when it's in your food and it's i meant when it's in your uh, ice cream your sweets and in your meats and stuff it makes you slow it makes you react slow it makes you think so it makes you it slows everything down so this is why and walmart is one i i know because i shop at walmart a lot walmart has a lot of bioengineered food walmart really does it's in a lot of stuff that we was like, why does it taste different? Because a lot of stuff, they snuck it in and then they went on here after they seen that, you know, nobody really, uh, we noticed it, but we know what it really was because we was ignorant. It's bioengineered, meaning they mechanically made it. They created, uh, whatever. You can look it up. But, um, yeah. If it's in like meats and stuff, seasonings is not that bad. But if it's in meats, I don't understand why it's in season. Season is just plant, so you, you yeah, it, whatever. <laughs> but there, um, in your meats and stuff, it makes you sluggish and slow you down. And this is why they were able to push so many agendas without us knowing, without us caring, because we're not, we wasn't in our right mind to understand what was going on. We was in our right mind to make it day to day, but we wasn't in our right mind like, hey, this is not for our good, greatest good because we were being poisoned, basically. And that's why a lot of people push, push veganism back in like five, six years ago. They was pushing being vegan because at that time it was good. You even have to look at some of your vegan, vegan products because they are bioengineered now, too. So it's getting worse and worse. We just have to keep our eyes and ears open. Um after a while that's why they went to just juicing too just like grow your own vegetables and juice because that's what it's going to end up with how it's going into this whole battle of the currency is over and how the market of beast is going to be ushered in is over so 
we're still at war, you guys. It's just what it is because we have these group of elites that want to stay the elites. They want to stay on top of everybody. They want to have all the power. Power belongs to the people, not just to certain individuals or certain families. It belongs to everybody. So I'm out. Peace.